This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. Just before 545 on your Saturday afternoon and I'm tracking road conditions. If you see green, that means they're wet. If you see blue, that means they're snowy and icy. So by far the Denver metro area has seen the worst conditions yet today. I-70 into the mountains just uh, through Arapahoe County. I-70 is pretty bad as well. So far here in southern Colorado, most of our roads are just wet. I do expect the northern I-25 corridor from Denver to Fort Collins and Cheyenne to very quickly ice and snow over if it hasn't already. And this is a view from Castle Rock at I-25. This is what it's looked like pretty much all day. It's been rough going through that zone. I'll take you all across the region. Monument Hill, still just a little bit of light accumulation on the grass. I-25 is wet, but still looks good. And the roads are still wet, but not iced over yet in Manitou Springs, but we do see elevated surfaces in the grass starting to accumulate that light dusting of snow. Woodland Park, same for you, wet pavement, but we're looking at the sidewalks, the roofs, starting to see that snow accumulating. Colorado Springs, the roofs of our cars are starting to get that light dusting. Roads still wet at this hour and Pueblo has been dry so far. Looks like plenty of folks out enjoying the river walk. So we do have winter weather advisories in place for our region, mostly going to be for ice and very light snow in the southeastern plains, snow elsewhere, and these will fully take effect, effect across the region by midnight. Some of them go into effect at six o'clock, like in Teller and northern El Paso counties, uh, but just think of it as tonight all the way through Sunday around six o'clock is when they expire tomorrow evening. So for now, we do look at some starts to that icing, that freezing drizzle in the eastern plains. Watch out for icy roadways and bridges. We're looking at lightning snowfall right now in Colorado Springs, but we'll see another surge overnight. That will be where we get the most of our accumulation. And again, I'm watching that light icing possibility for the eastern plains. So let's go through that future cast. Eight o'clock, we're still looking pretty sparse in the plains and southern I-25. Still looking at that active snow over the Palmer Divide between Colorado Springs and Castle Rock. Snow taking over our foothills and mountains overnight. And you see these lines of snow coming off the mountains. Those are snow bands. They're very narrow, heavy pockets of snowfall. This is where we'll get the most of our accumulation into early Sunday morning. These bands of heavier snow will move south throughout the day on Sunday. Here's pause at three o'clock. Snow comes to an end from north to south throughout the daytime and Right around dinner time is when things really start to taper off and we're actually going to start to clear out by Sunday night, leaving us with a very cold night. So let's look at snow accumulations, just a dusting or some light glaze of ice in the eastern plains along I-25, less than half a foot for most of us, couple inches, two to four in the springs, two to three Pueblo, two to four Walsenburg. Once you get west of the interstate, we'll stack up a little bit more up to about half a foot. West Cliff, four to six, four to six Rye, three to five Canyon City, five to seven Woodland Park, four to six for Monument. In the Pikes Peak region, talking a couple inches for the vast majority of Colorado Springs proper. The higher elevations will see a little bit more than that. And by far, Castle Rock to Denver sees the most. And uh, in the Wet Mountains, you'll pick up on a fair amount of snowfall along the middle Arkansas River, about a couple inches through Florence, Penrose, Canyon City, and Pueblo. So let's talk temperatures quickly. Tonight, teens and 20s. And tomorrow, 20s and 30s, only for highs. It's going to be a very cold day snowy, blustery, and then finally we'll start to see the sunshine return Monday. Highs return to the 40s, Tuesday a high of 47, and then getting pretty chilly for evening trick-or-treating will drop quickly to the upper 30s after sunset. The seasonable 60s return from Wednesday into the rest of the week. For Pueblo, snowy, cold Sunday, 40s return Monday, low 50s by Halloween. It will drop to the low 40s for trick or treat time. Canyon City got those snow showers for tomorrow. The 60s return finally by Wednesday. That's when we see more seasonable conditions return. A couple very cold nights in the single digits in Woodland Park, so it'll take a while to thaw out. But once we do by Halloween, should be a little bit more pleasant.